Hey, hey, YouTube, Rich McCall, Rich McCall Serpents, RMS. Today, we're going to take a look at an extinct tortoise. <laughs> extinct tortoise? How can we look at an extinct tortoise? Well, that, my friends, is a pretty fascinating story. And it starts 150 years ago on Floriana Island in the Galapagos. So Floriana Island had its own unique species of Galapagos tortoise. And it was one of the saddleback species of tortoise. And back in 1850, it was pretty much extinct. No one knew where any were alive. All they could find was shells of this species. And what happened to them? Well, just like every other Galapagos tortoise, they got eaten. Whalers and fishermen, pirates, whoever, would go over to the islands and they'd grab the tortoises and they would throw them in the hold of their ships. Because the survival mechanism of Galapagos tortoises is they can live six months to a year with no food and no water. And that's great if you're trying to survive on an arid desert island. Not so great if you throw it in the hold of a whaler and you're going to get eaten six months from now. Not a good end for that tortoise. And that's basically what happened. Apparently they wiped out the entire population of tortoises on this island. And the story almost ended there. But it didn't. Here's what happened. At some point, and we're not quite sure when, we're not quite sure who, there's another island in the Galapagos called Isabella, and on it it has a volcano called Wolf, the Wolf Volcano. And at some point, somebody who had a hold full of tortoises dumped their tortoises on the island at the base of the volcano. Why? Who knows? Probably they were making room for something else in their hold, maybe more whale oil, but we don't know that. And we also don't know if it was a one-time deal or it was more than one time. However, they did it. And flash forward to modern times. And now we have modern genetic testing. And so what happened was they went over to the Wolf Volcano, to this unique population of tortoises, and they started doing genetic tests. And they, and they were looking for tortoises from two different islands that were extinct already, Pinta and Floriana. And when they did a whole bunch of genetic tests, they found 127 tortoises that had some level of genetic heritage from Floriana Island. Unfortunately, they didn't find any from Pinta Island. And they identified about 37 individuals that they brought back to the Charles Darwin Research Center and put them into some breeding groups. And now they are successfully breeding and hatching eggs for Floriana Island Galapagos tortoises. The species is no longer considered to be extinct. And that's pretty awesome cool fact about the Floriana tortoise as opposed to most of the other Galapagos tortoises. There is sexual divergence in size between males and females. The males are bigger. The females are quite a bit smaller. Also, real fast, saddleback tortoise. Alright, you've all seen lots of lots of photos of the classic Galapagos tortoise. That round, beautiful dome shell. That's like the Santa Cruz Galapagos tortoises. The saddleback tortoise, the main difference, and you're going to see that in the tortoises we're about to see, it's got a really high front arch in the tortoise shell. And what that allows the tortoise to do is get up and look around and eat food off tall bushes to tall trees. The cactus they like to eat actually grows as a tree on these islands. And that's what that high arch allows them to do. At least that's one theory. One of the other theories is, especially in the males of some of these saddleback species, is their ability to get tall and have long necks is actually a dominance thing. There's some credence to both theories, especially the food theory. On the Florianas, it's actually the tortoises that are male are much bigger than the females. You have to think, if the only reason to have that high arched shell was to eat food on tall bushes, the females would be just as big as the males. They would both need to be taller to eat up high. If you have a big difference between the males and the females, that makes you think that maybe it really is a dominance thing. But what do I know? I'm just going to show them to you. So let's go look at them. Of the Nigers. Nigers? Nigers. My Latin is as bad as all my other foreign languages. So this is the one with the females who are really small compared to the males. But this is sort of the back end of the thing. There's a male. They're a saddleback variety. And they're not really giant. I'm not sure, you know, who knows how old this guy is. But uh, in comparison to the... Uh, other giant tortoises, he's really not giant. He's big, but I've seen sulcatas that were as this big before, so he's like a really big sulcata in size. This, there's no perspective over there, of course. So this is the back end of the uh, enclosure, lava rock. 
uh, bush bush they could get under if they want to. I assume it's edible by them back there, Lava Rock. That building is not connected, at least not from here. There's a back corner. And again, look at how rough the ground is. It's dirt and lava rock. It's really rough, which means it's gonna wear down their nails really well. We got sand right here, and it looks like the remnants of extra food they threw in. Um, no idea what it was, because it's all trampled and smushed and, and so on. Um, different slopes, notice the slope, right? It's a big slope coming down to me. Um, I don't believe you can go anywhere in this enclosure without walking up and down. And he's got his head up, he's looking around. Hey buddy! All right, um, there's a pool over there. He's on that lava shelf, I guess. Pretty awesome, look at him look around, he's so cool. Hey buddy, what's up? I'm waving at him. He's not waving back, but you know, what can you do? So and again, the temperature today is only supposed to be in the low 70s at the height. Right now it's only like 68, 69. It's been misty, it's overcast, but it's not warm. That's my point here, this is not a warm day. Um, so this in fact is very much like a, a Bay Area day. There you go. So it's actually, it's pretty humid though. That's the big difference. It's actually really humid right now. Um, Cause it was misty this morning. So there is that. Humid, but cool. You know that on the side of the floor, how long is the neck of that floor? Also we have the females. The females are around this place. Can you see that difference in the size? Look up. These ones are the females. They are not juveniles. They are females. a major females, exactly. <laughs> This species, this species from Floriana, the Kelly Floriana. This species has a big male and one and a small little babies. The no. reproduction here no. in the breeding center is very important because with them we can help and we can restore the population of the giant tortoises. Imagine how many was them because in the past the whalers was taking over the hundred thousand. There's the male. The male's much bigger. I don't count the percellers, I don't count the book. It's a little hut. Only the whalers was responsible to take over the hundred thousand tortoises from Galapagos. Imagine how big it was the population. All this lava rock is the native rock here. The population here in Santa Cruz Island is around the four thousand five hundred. So that means it's nothing in compared with that. Five hundred years ago. So here, which part is? Uh, well, we have different vegetation and we. So it's really the rough. The Hardcore wood. rock. In the case of these tortoises, these tortoises from Florida, you can see the bites pool. in the cactus pads. Our man way back they there. So, tall, oh, yeah. so they can bite huh. the cactus pads. That's a saddlebag. Yes, they yeah. are the saddlebags. Saddlebags. Yes. But then just like the cockroaches, they are right to say like the cockroaches, very very small. A huge difference with the females to the males. There'll be male back there. And he's still not nearly as big as some of the biggest. Oh, look at that one over there, yeah. And so there you go, YouTube. Floriana Galapagos Island tortoises that are not extinct any longer. Have a great one. See ya. Hey, Brooklyn, take a little nap.